So this was kind of interesting. Austin Richard Post, well known for his variegated vocals. So that boy, that uh, they call him Post Malone, but the thing about him, they said he was, uh, he was like, he, he had superlative vocals from a variegated standpoint, like he sang motley or multicolored or polychromatic. Lee. He sung like his singing was streaked or spotted. He, he sewn together different genres. But the funniest thing about Post Malone was that he fell through a magician's trap door onto his face. And maybe if he knew, if somebody would have told him in his past... That he would have been, you know, the subject of a prat fall through a five, you know, five feet of open air plummeting through gra- gravity. His mass, E times squared gravity into the face plant under a, tra- a magician's trap door. Maybe he wouldn't have had to get so many tattoos that way. He would have said, hey, listen, I could go through all the pain. It's like going to the dentist. I got to get this many face tattoos. Wait. I'm going to have a trap door Pratt fall face plant from five feet of free fall with all my gravity and mass behind me, my whole ass, as I smash my face first into the bottom of the, you know, the, whatever you would call the thing. What, what do you call it? The hole beneath a trap door like they have like for like spies. So if somebody's getting ready to kill somebody, they just say, hey, sit down, enjoy yourself, have a cocktail. They pull a lever and they, they drop to the floor to alligators. Post Malone was lucky there was no alligators down there and he just had a vicious face plant. But maybe if he would have realized long ago he was going to have that kind of a face plant, he wouldn't have had to have so much work done, you know what I'm saying? Eh, it doesn't matter.